my dad owned his own company when I was growing up and I always saw that and I had like, a, my mom says I had like this pseudo entrepreneurial mindset as like a little kid. But this whole endeavor literally started when I was 12 years old, which is really ridiculous now, 15 years later looking back. Um, and today, Stepped, my production company is based in Los Angeles and we make uh, commercial and branded content for the world's largest outdoor and athletic brands. Um, and it's been an amazing ride over the past 15 years, sort of transitioning from around our backyard to where we are today. So I was going to walk you guys through how that story happened a little bit as quickly as possible, show you guys a couple video clips, uh, not the entire video clips, just like little snippets. Um, and that's that. I, uh, pretty much every like four years of my life, one of the themes of what I want to talk about is changing directions radically. Um, growing up, I was obsessed with ski racing, and Bodie Miller was my neighbor, who's a famous American ski racer, and we were like really inspired by him, and all I wanted to do was become a professional ski racer. So I did that, and by the age of 14, I was state champ in New Hampshire, and two years later, I completely quit ski racing and never wanted to do it again. <laughs> um, and then I went on to do freestyle skiing and ended up being super fortunate and getting to ski professionally. Um, for about a decade, starting midway through high school when I was living with Luke, um, up until three or four years ago, we went to see you out here. Um, and simultaneously while that was happening, my brother and I on the side were making our ski movies, our stepped films. A lot of the companies that were endorsing us to ski started funding our films. So as we were skiing professionally, our hobby as filmmakers sort of gained some traction. We started getting real funding to make ski films. Um, at the time, we had no intentions of taking the films further than just capturing the stuff we did on skis. Um, then all of a sudden I got into a string of really terrible, uh, dumb accidents on skis. Um, I ended up doing four ACLs, both shoulders, tore out my spleen, five concussions, eight broken bones in like six years. So it was at least three to four serious hospitalizations a year for like half a decade. Um, my mom still thinks I'm a super big idiot. Um, and as all this was happening, like my first couple ACLs where you get put out for six, eight months, um, I went from being in front of the camera on my skis to inherently being behind the camera. And that was a burden to me my whole life. Like, oh shit, I gotta film my brother. Like, I want you to film me, vice versa. And then once I couldn't ski or like really walk, I fell in love with cinematography and shooting. Um, so at that point, as skiing sort of started to dwindle as a feasible like long-term career opportunity, which I guess that in general, like doing stunts on skis as a long-term career opportunity is obviously like a tough thing to do, especially when you're a klutz like me. Um, so I really started taking the filmmaking thing more seriously. Um, and I guess I want to show you one clip of when I went to see you and we were doing our ski films and traveling around. So this is when we were living in Boulder, like right up the street, uh, doing really dumb stuff on our skis. Anyways, so basically like, I don't know if you guys have ever seen like urban skiing, but our, our whole crew like went around to cities all around the country and like jumped off people's buildings and slid down their handrails and all. Does, is anyone not familiar with that? Because I guess we can play like some of the actual scenes so you understand what we're saying. Like, it's, uh, it's like really, really dumb.
so that's sort of like the gist of that, which obviously you can tell like how the injuries came along with that. Um, but that was like the time when we were in college and like studying simultaneously, trying to ski professionally, trying to make films, living in Boulder, just like partying, just figuring out life sort of. And as like all that started coming, coming to a close, like we started assessing like what was next and just like the ski racing thing, which is something I thought I'd do for the rest of my life, and then the freestyle skiing thing I thought I'd do for the rest of my life, and then the making ski films I thought was like the thing. All of a sudden we had a, like a pretty drastic shift of focus. Um, I could no longer really ski, and we had filmed ski films for about 15 years, um, and I was just ready for something new. Um, as all you know, because you're under 30, most of you, <laughs> um, the media landscape as, and the internet has changed everything a ton. So all of a sudden, the brands that were funding our films, which you got lucky enough, like the North Face, Under Armour, these huge multinational outdoor brands, were looking for short form branded content, which I'm assuming is like a lot of the stuff you guys see on your Facebook page, on TV as commercial spots, et cetera. Um, as we started taking filmmaking more seriously, um, we got some opportunities to start pr producing commercial spots for the same brands that had been funding our ski films. Um, after a couple years of getting involved with that, I migrated down to LA, which is a big hub, LA and New York, for all the ad agencies and commercial producers. Um, and we just started repositioning ourselves as a commercial production house rather than a ski movie company, which I think if anyone's been involved in personal business, rebranding yourself is always like a very interesting thing because you have these pre-existing brand associations that everyone knows you by. And with the paradigm shift happening in the way people consume media, it sort of gave us um, an opportunity to simultaneously rebrand ourselves with that shift and go in that direction. Um, and we got super lucky. We had a couple of great opportunities early on. Um, and now we have a team of people in LA that produces um, some really interesting branded content, a lot around athletics, outdoor adventure, uh, music, fashion, um, a lot of different stuff. So I want to show you a second clip, which is sort of like coming from this, like the Boulder Dum Dums, to sort of like what over the past five or six years we've transitioned to and tried to build in LA. So I'm going to play this whole clip, and this is what we'd show to an ad agency when we walk in, in terms of what we make. You want to move the cursor? My name is Joe LaHoop. I was born in this apartment in 1922. into a resort and clicking in your skis and enjoying that gravity is what skiing's all about. What's up? I'm Sean Malto. I'm here with Spokane Apple Barracks.
so that you can see like sort of a cross section of like the visuals we usually capture and some of those come together as 30 second commercials or 10 to 15 minute short films uh, and a lot of the times we're telling stories about athletes, uh, products, brand stories, um, everything along those lines. Some of the recent, I guess, like highlights of the work we did, we just did some Under Armour commercials with Steph Curry, which you saw in there, um, uh, Ski Film in Chile, uh, a new YG music video, um, and a really eclectic spread of things, I guess, over, over the past few years. Um, but, yeah, I think, I guess all I have to say is, like, it's been a very, very interesting experience over the past 15 years, every two to three years, dramatically shifting focus in my life and getting to, like, try out a lot of really different, awesome things. And I think one lesson that I've learned is that I could see myself in three or four years, like, not doing video production or who knows what, but I think a lot of people get stuck into these. I see a lot of people who I'm really close to think that they're doing something that's what they're going to have to do for the rest of their life, and I think transitioning to new things in life is way easier than people think, and it's really fulfilling, too, to tackle something new, try a new strategy, and um, I think that's, like, my biggest takeaway over all these crazy shifts throughout my life. Um, and if anyone needs help with video production, call it your boy. Um, and no, that's, that's all I got. But, yeah.